I don't think one little thing like that is answer to all of it. I think it's the whole journey. It's a total journey. And plus, I was lucky enough to be at the right place at the right time. You know, with good support from friends, family. It just happened. Okay. If you ask me about, did I plan? No. Did I know? No clue. But no idea. It just happened. I think for young, it is better to explore new frontiers, whether it is in Kerala, from Delhi, or Africa, or China, or US. Doesn't matter. It is good to really explore new frontiers, because then you have lots of energy. And at times, you are also sort of fearless. And it helps when you are young. I've been saying that ignorance can be a great asset. So when you're young, you don't know enough. So you can take some risk that you normally don't take when you get a little wiser and older. So you might as well take all the risk when you are young. I probably lucked out because I was a physics graduate who went into electrical engineering. So while most of my colleagues thought as an engineer, I thought as a physicist. So that really helped because I was the only oddball in the group. So when they all looked at engineering problem, I looked at physics part of it. So when I started inventing in early 60s, I thought this was interesting. I had no idea. I didn't know this is an invention. Nobody, somebody had to tell me that this is an invention. I did not know what is an invention. They had to teach me how to file a patent. So then I realized that I begin to look at things through different set of glasses. So key learning from all of that was look at a problem from new set of glasses. Think outside the box. Don't follow tradition. And you begin to see things differently. Absolutely. If you are in vertical silos, you cannot do much. Your life is locked up. You got to be a painter, actor, engineer, musician, goofball. You got to be all of that at the same time. <laughs> you know? And you got to enjoy all of that at the same time. Right. I don't think so. I think one has to do what one has to do. It has to be in your heart. You're not giving anything back to anybody. You're doing what you're supposed to do. And that's your job in life. You know, you decide. You want to have fun, you do that. You want to make money, you do that. You want to help poor, you do that. You know, who am I to, you know, advise anybody? But do what you like to do. Do it well. Enjoy it. It's a journey. My journey is very different from your journey. My journey is very different from my wife's journey. So I think each one of us have our own little journey worked out. You know, to some it makes sense, to others it don't make sense.